Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome uh, Prime Minister Joma uh, here to the Oval Office. Uh, you know, several years ago, uh, a fruit vendor in Tunisia uh, you know, essentially made a statement to the world about the need for a government that represented ordinary people uh, and an end to corruption and uh, a sense uh, that democracy and rule of law could flourish uh, in the Arab world. And uh, that action triggered uh, a movement that spread uh, throughout the Middle East uh, and North Africa. And obviously what we've seen uh, in the years since uh, is that some countries have had uh, difficulty in this transition. Uh, there has been uh, incredible energy uh, and uh, interest uh, among young people about the possibilities of the future, but there's also been uh, you know, great challenges, both economically and politically in many countries. The good news is, is that in Tunisia, uh, where this began, uh, we have seen uh, the kind of progress that I think all of us uh, have been hoping for. Although it has been uh, full of challenges, uh, as any democratic uh, process uh, inevitably will confront, uh, what we've seen now is uh, a coming together of various factions within Tunisia, uh, a new constitution that uh, not only respects uh, the individual rights of men, but also women, uh, that speaks to tolerance uh, and respect for religious minorities, uh, and it creates the bedrock, uh, the foundation, for uh, a Tunisian uh, society that uh, can thrive uh, in this new uh, global environment. Uh, Prime Minister Joma has a big job ahead of him. Uh, he's been tasked with making sure that uh, during this period, as Tunisia is drafting election laws, preparing for new elections uh, for the presidency uh, and the parliament, uh, that the economy begins to move forward with reform uh, and that uh, the political changes that are taking place uh, happen smoothly. Uh, fortunately, uh, by all accounts, uh, the Prime Minister so far has done an outstanding job and we are very pleased to welcome him uh, and his delegation. Uh, the United States has a huge investment in making sure that Tunisia's experiment is successful. Uh, and we want uh, nothing more than Tunisians to determine their own destiny for uh, the economic reforms that take place to allow Tunisia to be uh, not just self-sufficient but thriving in the world economy. Uh, for this reason, I'm pleased that we're able to provide uh, not only uh, the assistance we've provided over the last three years, but additional uh, assistance in the form of loan guarantees. Uh, we want to work with Tunisia to help uh, on some of the border security issues that it's confronting uh, with respect to uh, uh, the Libyan border. Uh, we have uh, seen excellent cooperation uh, with the Tunisian government uh, on some of our counterterrorism efforts. And uh, we are confident that, uh, uh, with the Prime Minister's guidance, that, in fact, Tunisia can meet some of its reform goals and uh, lay the foundation for great success in the future. So, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, we're very pleased to have you here. Um, after our meeting, I'm going to have an opportunity to meet with some Tunisian young people who are here studying in the United States as a consequence of a, a U.S.-funded sco uh, scholarship that's being provided. Uh, I think the Prime Minister and I both believe that uh, we do our work uh, on behalf of young people, and we want to make sure that we're creating greater and greater opportunities for them. And so to have uh, young people here uh, from Tunisia who are able to not only get skills, uh, but also the values that they can take back uh, to Tunisia to help start businesses and uh, to promote entrepreneurship uh, and to create jobs uh, and opportunity uh, is something that uh, we're very much looking forward to. So, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Uh, and uh, I know you've had a good visit so far. I'm sure you'll have uh, uh, yeah, great success in the months to come, and we want to help. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me first uh, uh, thank you for this kind uh, invitation. Uh, I really appreciate that, and uh, it's a great pleasure and uh, a honor for me to be here uh, meeting you. Uh, it's an opportunity as well to express uh, the Tunisia's uh, appreciation uh, of all the support you are giving, 
uh, United States support, but your uh, uh, personal commitment uh, and uh, engagement uh, to support uh, this transition, uh, the democratic transition, and uh, the march of the Tunisia uh, toward uh, stability and democracy. So, thanks again. Uh, as you allowed me to switch in French, I will do it. Euh, donc, euh, je, comme, comme je le disais, je, je remercie le président euh, Obama pour cette invitation. Euh, je pense que c'est une opportunité euh, pour le remercier de tout le support et surtout euh, pour essayer de tracer notre avenir. Vous savez, les relations avec les États-Unis, c'est des relations historiques. Ça remonte à, à la fin de, du, de, du 18e siècle. Euh, on était parmi les premiers pays euh, qui ont reconnu l'indépendance des États-Unis et les États-Unis étaient parmi les premiers les pays qui ont reconnu l'indépendance de la Tunisie. Donc, c'est. Je voudrais prendre cette opportunité de remercier le gouvernement des États-Unis et de remercier le président Obama pour le warm welcome qui a été réservé pour nous. Et comme nous avons discuté des passés événements, mais aussi comme nous avons fixé la roadmap pour le futur de mon pays. La Tunisie et les États-Unis ont une longue histoire de longue In the 18th century, Tunisia was one of the first countries to recognize the United States' independence, and conversely, the United States was one of the first countries to recognize Tunisia's independence. Donc, nous sommes là aujourd'hui, nous partageons les mêmes valeurs universelles. Euh, on est content et, et heureux et fier d'avoir voté cette constitution qui comporte toutes ces valeurs-là que nous partageons, et nous sommes là aussi pour tracer un avenir que nous souhaitons élever à un niveau stratégique. Euh, je vous remercie pour euh, nous avoir aussi euh, offert cette opportunité d'ouvrir euh, ce dialogue stratégique. Nous comptons énormément euh, sur une coopération dans l'intérêt de deux pays avec tous les volets économiques, euh, sécuritaires, mais aussi euh, nous mettant l'accent euh, sur l'enseignement et sur l'accès aux nouvelles technologies parce que c'est comme ça que nous voyons l'avenir de notre pays, l'avenir de notre économie et l'avenir de nos jeunes. So I want to thank you for, for allowing us to, to, to set this, this roadmap for the future. First, I would like to say that we are very proud of our new constitution, of our shared values um, in, in, in democracy and rights. Um, as we set this roadmap, we need to think about economic and, and social aspects. But as you were saying, we also need to think about teaching and learning because we are eager to develop our youth and to develop uh, new technologies. Nous sommes aujourd'hui à la fin de, de cette étape politique, de cette transition politique qui se passe plutôt bien en Tunisie après quelques difficultés euh, d'une gestation qui a enfanté euh, d'une belle constitution. Et nous abordons la transition économique. Euh, nous souhaitons euh, aussi travailler avec tous nos, 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 nos pays amis. Nous comptons sur nous-mêmes, mais nous comptons aussi sur la bonne collaboration, une bonne coopération avec tous les pays amis et plus particulièrement les États-Unis pour essayer de donner aux jeunes ce qu'ils attendaient des perspectives en fait d'emploi, de perspectives de, de prospérité après cette cette freedom, cette liberté gagnée. So we have this new hard-won freedom that we have obtained and the gestation, the, the birth of our uh, new constitution was somewhat difficult, but we have overcome those periods and now we need to focus on the future, on, on creating a new future for our, our youth. Monsieur le Président, euh, je peux résumer ce qui se passe en Tunisie aujourd'hui, ce grand projet euh, qui, qui s'annonce comme une start-up, une démocratie start-up. And uh, what I'm saying, just believe in it, just take the risk, invest in it, and we will trip, we will take the dividends for all of us. So I prefer to formulate it like this. I'm a business guy, but I believe that it's one of the best startup where we can invest today. Fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Mr. President, this yeah, question is I would do my statement in French also, <laughs> but uh, uh, my, my seventh grade French isn't quite up to it, so thank you everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm